In this episode of Derp Star, I've added a black hole as the second boss in the Derp Space dimension. It has a gravitational pull effect and does damage to the player and enemies. As it destroys bumpers, the area grows larger and deals more damage. First, I'll add an area 2D to the main node named Black Hole. Then add a collision shape set to circle and increase the radius to around 400. Then in the area under physics override, I'll set the space override to combine replace Enable the gravity point and set it to 0, 0. Then increase the gravity to 500. Under debug, I'll enable visible collision shapes as well. Now both the player and the enemies are pulled into the area, but on collision, they bounce too much and get knocked out. To fix this, I'll turn the angular damp up to 1.5, any higher, and then the player won't be able to leave at all. This slows down their trajectory to keep the bumpers within the circle. Now I'll be using this shader script from Play with Versifer to get the gravitational lens effect. This is a great tutorial if you want to learn more about shaders, so I'll put a link in the description. So, I'll add a sprite to the black hole area, set the texture to the default icon, and increase the size to the size of the area. Then under material, I'll set the material to new shader, and under shader, new shader again and paste the script from the tutorial in the editor. Now I'll hide the collision shape and move the area so it's easier to see. Under the shader parameters, I'll set the curve to a new curve texture and make the minimum value negative one. Add the first point at 0, the second between 0 and negative 1, the third point above 0, and the last point at 0 and 0.5 on the x-axis. Now you can see it's making the ripple effect that we want, and you can adjust these points as needed. Then I'll add a sprite under the area, set to a simple black circle, increase the scale a bit, and see how it looks in game. So I'm pretty happy with this effect, and now I want to make it deal damage. So I'll attach a script to the black hole area, set the faction equal to environment so it does damage to both the player and the enemies, and set the DPS equal to 100. Then in the process function, I'll loop over the overlapping bodies. To deal straight damage, you would multiply the DPS by the delta, and use the connector to deal damage from the black hole to the body for damage amount. But I want the black hole to deal more damage as you get closer to the center, 
so I'll get the distance from global position to the body global position then get the distance ratio equal 1 minus the distance over the collision shape radius then multiply the damage by the distance ratio and now the black hole does area damage next i want it to grow in size as it consumes the bumpers so i'll set the size variable to 100 percent by default and add the set size function I'll set the size variable then to make the area scale linearly I'll get the square root of the size for the local scale square root of size and I'll set the area scale equal to a new vector with local scale for both the x and y. And I'll add a helper function to increase the size by amount. And I'll call set size with current size plus amount. Then I'll multiply the damage by the size percent and check if the body is in the bumper group. And the current health. is less than or equal to the damage amount then I'll increase the size by the bumper points value times 0 0.01 for now I'll probably set this lower though and I still want to trigger the body explode function because it looks really cool. And then I'll do Q free. So this way it won't award points to the player when it's killed by the black hole. Then otherwise just deal damage as it did before. So now the black hole will get larger as it consumes the bumpers. As you can see. Now I want to make the black hole start out much smaller, so I'll decrease the starting DPS and reduce the size of the shader and the collision shape and the sprite as well now the black hole is much more manageable and you can use the gravity beam to pull it into the area I'll finish up the boss fight next time but for now, thanks for watching and have a great day.